Say it louder for the people back at home, coach. After 21 wins last season, yeah, I'd say it's time for a new era of Suns basketball, and we're just four days away from opening night. The Cardinals begin training camp in just six days with their first practice set for next Saturday. What about his personality? He's so calm, cool, and collected. Yeah. Never too high, never yeah. too low. Do you think that resonates with the players? Absolutely. I and they play better when expectations are on the line. What, you play against Michigan yeah. State and yeah. you win? So, I mean... I'm going like to say, if golf was scored like every other sport mm -hmm. where the high score wins, I'd be one of the best to ever play the game. But for but, some reason, they want the low score. But that can't fix your swing. <laughs> T, I, I really think you brought the good luck. Uh, I, the D-backs. Some big news on the college football scene. Yeah, that's right, Karibe. Ohio State head football coach Urban Meyer has been placed on administrative leave effective immediately. It wasn't exactly the ending Arizona State fans were expecting after such high hopes in the non-conference and a total and utter collapse in the Pac-12. It felt a bit like whiplash or maybe like a breakup that came out of nowhere. But before you lose hope, keep this in mind. Let's start at the beginning. For the first time in a long time, Arizona State basketball was in the national spotlight at their peak and then their plummet. But all eyes were on the Sun Devils. Fans obsessed with the feeling like a new relationship that's seemingly perfect. Keyword is seemingly. As soon as the honeymoon was over, out came the reality, a below 500 Pac-12 finish and mediocrity. Suddenly, the perfectness felt more like a kick to the gut when a postseason run was slipping right through their pitchforks. But as disappointing as their finish was, there's nothing more exciting than the anticipation of a new beginning. Bobby Hurley's just in his third season with Arizona State and has already attracted the likes of four-star recruits Tayshawn Cherry and two international four-star recruits, according to 247sports.com. Two transfers will be eligible, Rob Edwards a guard and six-foot-eight Xylem Cheatham a Ford. Spoiler alert, the Devils did need more size. ASU loses three senior guards, Cody Justice, Shannon Evans, and Trey Holder, but bring back the Pac-12's Co-6 Man of the Year, freshman Remy Martin, junior Daquan Lake, sophomore Mickey Mitchell, and redshirt freshman Romello White. Their ability to play in big moments against Xavier, Kansas, yeah, you get the picture. So before you give up and think all hope is lost, it's really not. The sky's not falling, and for all you Sun Devil fans, at least losing this season is all you have to worry about. d manager Tori Lovello dropped a total bomb in last night's presser, reporting that third baseman Jake Lamb has fraying in his rotator cuff. So what does that mean for the d -backs? Well, you know, they're still figuring out the logistics. There are two ways to approach Lamb's injury. Number one, the conservative route, or two, surgery, which would sideline Lamb the rest of the year. Well, if, if, if surgery is the option, I think he would be out for the year. If uh, we go the conservative route, um, there's a chance he could return. The decision will be up to Jake Lamb. The team has the night off. They'll host San Francisco starting tomorrow night. Well, we are less than three weeks away from kicking off season 28 of Friday Night Fever. And this week, we spotlight Desert Edge High School's Nassier Sims. Easily, hands down, one of the most humble players that I've ever met, who only started playing football in middle school as a way to protect his family. In eighth grade, I saw my little brother getting beat up on one of his football games, and I don't really like people messing with my brother too much. So I told my mom, I was like, how do I get out there and defend my brother? She was like, go ahead, you got to put the pads on. Nassier grew up in a single-parent household. It was just him, his mom, and his little brother. It was hard. It, it was real hard. I ain't had a father figure. I see all my friends having dads around the picture, stuff like that. Being a single mother, she had to step up and do what she had to do. Nasier's mom wanted a better life for her two boys, even if that meant moving across the country. She don't want to be the stereotype because me, I'm from Flint, Michigan. It's, it's bad out there. It's rough. It's very rough. She didn't want to raise two boys in that situation because I could have been gangbanging, selling drugs, doing all types of reckless stuff out there. But I came and she brought me out here for a better life. I play this game for my mama. Everything I do, I do it for us, I do it for everybody in the household. Heading into his senior season, it's crazy to think that just a few years ago, Nasier's first love was... Anime. Watch anime. You want to get a good football pump up. Best to watch is Jaren versus Goku, Dragon Ball Super. Yeah, I'm kind of a geek. You ain't know that, huh? It's obviously helped his game having multiple D1 offers already. It's really been a big shock for me because I never thought I could go so far. It's just God. That's pretty much all I can say. He's an emotional starter for our, our entire team. You know, he kind of as Nasir goes every day, our team goes. And it's out here, it's a release. It's an outlet for me. I think about my mama 
working to make her proud and put a smile on her face and to know she ain't got to pay for college and that one day she's going to see her son on TV is just, is, is, is doing it for me.